Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is from uh, about synchronous generator from chapter number 5 of Mr. Chapman's book. And here we'll be discussing example 5.3. Okay, now before we solve the example, let's uh, recall some of the basics. And the question, uh, it is given that the generator is Y connected. So this is the Y connection. And generally we just take one phase and discuss that so if we take just this phase it will be like this this portion is of the phase and just to give an idea i have shown the field connection as well so you know that there is a field connection here and also with this generator you can see that this is the terminal voltage Vt between line to line the voltage is called terminal voltage and the voltage across one phase is called the phase voltage. So primarily we will be just uh, talking about this portion we will uh, not show on the left hand side. Now three points. This current is the armature current and depending on whether this current is lagging, leading or uh, is in phase with the voltage, uh, we will we'll have different uh, phase diagrams and different interpretation. Now, if the current is lagging, we will show it like this. This is voltage V phase is taken as reference. So lagging current or the lagging power factor means the current is lagging and if it is not lagging it is unity power factor then it will be in line with the voltage so this is current in line with the voltage but if the power factor is leading then it will be drawn up so positive side so this is the current and voltage. Now, as I mentioned, V5 value will change depending on the armature current. So, depending on whether this current is leading or lagging, the phase voltage, value of the phase voltage will vary. Now, let's see uh, the um, algebraic equation. This voltage and this is generated voltage and this is the per phase output voltage. So the generated voltage is equal to this voltage, phase output voltage and the voltage drop in the resistive element and in the reactive element of the armature. Graphically we can show it like this. This is the phase voltage. This current is lagging in this case and therefore the resistive element will follow the current. So it's, you can see this line and this line they are in parallel. And we also know that the reactive element goes 90 degree phase from the resistive element. So at 90 degree we have drawn this. And the summation of all three, this, 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 like this, 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 is Ea. So summation of all three vectorically added gives Ea. Okay. Now in this question it is said that the resistive element is zero. So resistive element is zero. What will happen then? The, uh, this part is zero from here. Now how do we draw uh, the phasor diagram in this case? And uh, uh, one way is that we extend this line, the current line. And then we from the, this phasor voltage which is given we, we draw a perpendicular on this line and extend that line. And extend by how much? Extend by this amount, J, the reactive element drop. And wherever it ends, we connect with the origin line. So this is Ea. Now we will go the opposite. Now, in this case, what I'm, uh, I'm trying to explain is that instead of V phase here, if we have Ea given, like here, if we have Ea given and we need to find V5, which is the case in this question that we'll be solving. 
so e a is known and the current is known so we'll follow exactly same technique from e a will draw a perpendicular on this and wherever it touches the voltage axis now this is on the uh, uh, zero line so wherever it touches that is the end point of v phi so this will be v phi and obviously this length will be j x s i a now let's see the question 480 volt and when it says 480 volt that means it is the line to line voltage or the terminal voltage so this voltage is 480 volt 50 hertz y connected 6 pole generator has per phase synchronous reactance of 1.0 its full load armature current is 60 ampere at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. This generator has friction and Mendes losses shown here at 60 hertz at full load. Since the armature resistance is being ignored, assume that I square R loss is negligible. So keep this in mind that I square loss is negligible. The field current has been adjusted so that the terminal voltage is 480 volt no load. So this voltage is 480 volt as we mentioned. Now we have to find these uh, five six parameters. So we'll tackle them one by one. Okay. Now let's see what is given here. The generator is Y connected, yes. So this is the di uh, diagram that we'll keep in mind. And from that we'll just take a single phase. So its phase voltage is given by V phi is V terminal divided by under root 3. We know that the phase voltage is line voltage divided by under root 3. So this is line voltage and line voltage is 480 therefore 480 divided by under root 3 is 277 so this voltage phase voltage is 277 in this case this voltage or we can say this voltage is 277 in this case now at no load the armature current is zero so there is no drop here so the armature reaction voltage and ir drops uh, zero and therefore E A is equal to V phi. So now since these two are zero, V phi we know is two seventy seven, therefore E A will also be two seventy seven. A point to note problem states that the field current is adjusted initially and then left alone. Since the field current will not change in this example, therefore EA277 will not change. So EA will remain fixed for all the problems that we will be solving. And current as we have said it is 60 ampere, 0 0.8 power factor lagging and from here we can calculate the angle theta to be 36.87 and since it is lagging therefore we represent with a minus sign. So 60 angle minus 36.87 is the current. Now we come to first part of the question. What is the speed of rotation of the generator? Now this is simple. We know the speed of rotation formula. Nm is 120 uh, frequency over pole. Frequency is 50 pole given 6. So the uh, speed will be 100,000 uh, rpm. We'll also calculate the speed in radians per second and for that we divide it by 60 and multiply by 2. So the speed of, in radian per second is 104.7 radians per second. Let's see part B of the question. What is the terminal voltage of the generator if the following are true? It is loaded with a rated current at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. So we need to find V terminal. This is V terminal. And we know that for Y case, the relation between V terminal and V phase is given by this. 
so from here we uh, if we find v phase then we can find v terminal so how to find v phase okay if we just take uh, one phase so single phase diagram and then this is the load connected in that and the load in this case is uh, lagging and one more thing is that the armature resistance is ignored here so uh, IARA will be zero now the phaser diagram we had uh, discussed this type already earlier what all we know is EA and we also know IA. So the technique that I meant, uh, had discussed earlier is that from EA we'll draw um, a perpendicular line on this and wherever this line touches the V phaser line that will be the end point and that will be the end of V phaser. And this part will be JXSIA. So this is how we will be able to calculate V phaser. Now let's see this. So this was drawn. Now we need to uh, create a right angle triangle. This right angle triangle so that by using Pythagoras theorem we can find a V phaser. Now we know this one is XLIA so we can resolve this into two components. Now to resolve first of all we have to find the angles. So let's see. These two angles are uh, opposite angles so they are uh, uh, same value X and X. This is 90 degree this is 90 degree that means the third angle has to be theta. And so this is theta. Now we can resolve these two components and we are familiar of this shape so theta here the base is the cosine terms and the uh, um, uh, vertical is the sine terms so if you relate with this then our this part will be actually the base term that is x s i a cos theta and this is the sine theta terms and now we'll so now that we have resolved we'll try to find this value of uh, excess ia from here and this value we can use uh, uh, the value given in the question it is 1 ia from here we know it is 60 angle minus 36 so this is uh, jx ia that means this uh, hypotenuse term here and from here we can get the uh, two terms okay now from the figure you can see if we if we take this uh, right angle then ea that is the hypotenuse should be square of the base and plus a square of the vertical terms um, so the square of the base the v phi plus this term is the one term base terms and this is the perpendicular terms so square and here we now know all the values except for V phi. So EA is 277 this we have got from here so we'll plug in that value similarly we can use this value remember the angle is uh, sine of 30 6.87 in both the cases so solving we find v5 v phaser now that we have found v phaser we can find vt that is under root 3 v phaser so that is 410 volts now we come to part uh, b part 2 now here the uh, power factor is 1 so theta will be cos inverse 1 that is 90 degree and our current now will be 60 angle 90 and the uh, uh, the, di the phaser diagram will look like this this is at 90 degree x s i a with the phase uh, voltage 
and therefore we can straight away apply the Pythagoras theorem to find uh, V phase. So E A square is equal to V phase square and X S I A square. And again plugging in the values that we have, we find V phase to be 270.4 and from here we can find the terminal voltage to be 468.4 volt. Now we come to the third part of the same question. Here the power factor is 0 0.8 but it is leading. Now so for power factor leading now the, our current will go up and as we had seen in the first case here when it was lagging we had extended IA and we had drawn a perpendicular from EA. We will follow the same technique. We have extended IA and we draw the perpendicular from EA and now to touch with the V phase we will extend this line to find the end of this. So we are extending the line like here it has extended the line and wherever it is touching this point is now the end of V phase. Now what is this one? Let's see. Now to uh, to get a right angle triangle we, we drop a line from here and this right angle triangle we will be using we cannot go beyond this because EA ends here and as we had done earlier we will find the angle of this one this angle here so this angle on the same logic x and x in both these triangles this triangle we have separated this is 90 this is 90 therefore this angle is theta and now we can resolve it this was x s i a this portion we can resolve into two components sine and cosine components and uh, here it is this this is the sine component and this is the cosine component if you just twist this turn it left and then we will know this is the base and this is the uh, perpendicular okay so this known now we can find v phasor this whole thing is v phasor and this portion of the line which is oa will be v phasor minus this one okay so we are concentrating on this triangle oab oab triangle and here this is the hypotenuse so hypotenuse square divided um, is equal to base square now this base we have found OA to be this one so the base square and plus the uh, perpendicular square here also we know the values all except V phase so plugging in the value of this XL with the angles V phasor can be found to be 308.8 volt and again from here we calculate the terminal voltage which is 535 volt. Now just uh, we'll discuss uh, in, uh, in the coming slides that we got three different voltages for three different uh, power factors. Okay, the next question is to find the efficiency of the generator, ignoring the uh, losses, if any, unknown losses, and when it is operating at 0 0.8 power factor lagging. We know the efficiency is power out divided by power in. Power out in this case at 60 uh, power factor lagging is three times the power of one phase so at power factor lagging v phase we had calculated to be 236.8 current is 60 cos theta is 0.8 and therefore power out is 34.1 kilowatt what about power in so power in is actually power out plus all the losses so this 
electrical loss is zero this is given this is given that means pn is 36.6 kilowatt and so the efficiency we can calculate by dividing these two to be 93.2 percent now part d how much shaft torque must be applied to the prime mover at full load and i hope you know what is a prime mover prime mover is like a turbine water turbine or engine running the generator so how much shaft torque applied so it is called t tau applied that is first part and the second part is how large is the induced counter torque now what is counter torque let's see here the induced torque or induced counter torque in the generator is a counter torque opposing the rotation caused by the external applied torque so the counter torque opposes the applied torque okay the applied torque formula is power n divided by the angular frequency uh, uh, rotational frequency we had calculated already this we already had also calculated this one so the applied torque is 291.2 what about the induced torque or the counter torque now the formula for induced torque is p converted over omega m now what is p converted let's go to the power diagram this is the power diagram this is input and this is output so power diagram plus all, uh, most of the losses added we come to power converted and power converted we add the ir loss and then we go to the p output now in this case it is given in the question that ir loss is negligible that means p converted should be equal to p out so p converted should be equal to p out and we know how, how much is p out so we'll put the value of p out here so this is p out divided by the uh, rotational frequency uh, uh, rotational uh, rpm uh, sorry rotational speed and so this is the induced torque or counter torque the next part of the question is what is the voltage regulation of the generator for these three power factors this is the formula for voltage uh, regulation that is v no load minus v full load divided by v full load now we had calculated earlier uh, or uh, 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 that for no load the output or the terminal voltage is 480 in all three cases so we are putting 480 but the full load voltage or v terminal was different for all three cases so uh, Uh, at power factor um, lagging it was 410 then uh, power factor 1 468 and power factor leading it was 534 so we'll use these voltages and uh, the answer as shown here is the uh, voltage regulation now a point to note here in example for this one lagging loads resulted in a drop in terminal voltage So the terminal voltage was 480 lagging lo load is dropping the voltage to 410 the unity power factor loads cause little effect so it is 468 uh, uh, as against 480 so this is very neg negligible drop but in the leading load case it is uh, increased uh, to 535 volt so Uh, you will see later that uh, the leading uh, load or the capacitor is used to minimize the losses and by increasing the voltage drop thank you